Hi everybody, Tina here with Two Chicks and a Cricket, and I'm just going to show you my wedding album. This is another one of my scrapbooks, and I just wanted to share it with you. So this is just an album that I picked up, and it's kind of really torn up. It kind of got that way when we moved this last year. It got this little spot on it, and some other stuff happened, and so I don't know. I may change it out at some point. I don't know. I did my title page with our invitation and this was the handkerchief that I carried with me and it has my makeup spots on it from crying so this I just this album I waited we got married in 2006 and I believe I completed it in like 2008 or maybe even nine I waited to do it because I was gathering stuff to do it and I'm actually really glad I did because I love the way it came out and I had my Cricut expression by that time and just uh, I was just real excited that I had waited and I liked the way it came out so this I used my everyday paper doll dress up I did mine in black and pink and silver that was our wedding colors so um, I did a lot of journaling in this and then I had collected these um, little sticker type things that I was going to use in my album and then after I got my Cricut I realized that I could do it prettier but I still felt like I should use them because I had bought them all so I kind of tried to incorporate them into it. The baby is waking up. Of course. Of course. This was my wedding shower and I just put in some cards and stuff. Okay, after a short pause because the baby woke up, I'm back. So you're going to hear the girls playing in the background, but I thought it wasn't anything important. I was taping. So this is just, I just did from, it started when we got engaged and then I did all the way up through, probably wondering about that, I should have told you that in the beginning. It started when we got engaged with our engagement pictures that I just took, I didn't do anything fancy, and then the story of us getting engaged and then I just kept uh, little things like when we registered and I took pictures when I got my wedding dress and um, I got my shoes online so it was just like a combination of uh, collecting stuff keeping stuff and then also just like going bridesmaid shopping bridesmaid dress shopping with my bridesmaids and that kind of thing and my shower and stuff so this is just a setting up the church and I kept I had little um, not paper but like fabric flowers that were used on the walkway and so I kept some of those and then uh, my husband went out shooting with friends the day we set up the church so they got to go play while we worked and then our rehearsal dinner and I was really able to incorporate a lot of things I had learned from learned in my scrapbooking like ribbon hold on one okay. second they were running right by where the baby is sleeping so I was for sure that baby was gonna wake up but we're good okay so um, I was saying I just had been able to incorporate a lot of the things that I had learned scrapbooking and so I was glad I waited to do my album for so long and the only reason I waited was just because I was collecting things to do it I was collecting paper and embellishments and I was looking for an album and this was really neat our friend um, who's sort of famous. <laughs> he's not really hugely famous right now, but he's sort of famous. He wrote a song, um, for our wedding and he sang it actually at our wedding. And so this right here is just the words to that particular song. And so it was just them rehearsing. And I used a lot of my Cricut. I used storybook cartridge for all of the font and Wendy actually got this for me for Christmas the year before I started my album and it was really expensive she paid like $45 for it and you know us we never ever spend that much on cartridges but she got it because she knew I wanted to start my wedding album and I wanted to use that font so 
So now we're into like the wedding and like I said, I went ahead and I ended up using these things that I had gotten, that I had collected. And then this is something neat that I did. I just wanted like a, kind of like a, uh, what are they called? Like a, a, not an announcement, but like a brochure. Sometimes you'll get at really fancy weddings and it'll have all the people that were in the wedding and, you know, the procession and everything. And I just made one. Like I used vellum and I just, you did it in Word, in a Word document, and I just made it. And then that way you could see how our, like, how our wedding went, who was in it, and um, then I did this little one, the wedding party. We had a couple ministers who performed our our wedding, and then also in our wedding, uh, the um, woman that lit the unity candle for, as my mother, was not really my mother, and so I wanted to put that in there, just so you would know, like, she's like a mom to me, and it was important, but she wasn't my mom. So anyways, that's just something that I did. It was probably unique to our wedding, but, um, and then also, like, this is the unity candle being lit, and I did the meaning of the unity candle. Like, I looked it up online, and then I included this in here. Just as something fun, like, this is, uh, you know, maybe not such a traditional wedding album, this picture uh, my friend took, she played the piano, and she took it looking through the piano, and I loved that picture. She, When she gave it to me, she said, oh, you probably won't use this picture because it's kind of weird. It's like looking through the piano, but I loved it. It was like, I, I just, I couldn't imagine not using it. I used a lot of vellum sayings. These were all vellum type things that I used. This was a vellum piece. We had a very small wedding. We just had two uh, people in our wedding party. We had two, you know, I had a bride, uh, bridesmaid and a maid of, maid of honor. This I cut out on the Cricut and then used the flowers to fill the basket. It's kind of unique. Wendy did all the photos for our wedding. This was one of those sticker type things that said a wedding party that I used. And so is this, the dashing grooms, groomsmen, the beautiful bridesmaids. I just tried to incorporate them because I felt like I should because I had bought them all. And then this was actually on a card, one of our wedding cards that we got, and it was really pretty. And so I just popped it off. It was like on Pop Dots. I popped it off and used it in our album. And I still haven't done, I want to do, there's another part to my wedding album with um, the reception. And it's in a black, just a plain black album. But I didn't, I haven't finished it. So that is it. That's my wedding album. Thanks guys for coming by the blog. And I'll talk to you again soon.